All right. Why don't you start by uh, showing me your badge and telling me who you are and what you're doing here? My name is Dick de Jong. I'm communication officer at IRC International Water and Sanitation Center, based in the Netherlands. And here in Stockholm, with a number of our partners uh, sharing a stand uh, and publishing highlights from sessions uh, through um, short write-ups that we publish on our website, as well as assisting here in uh, making video clips uh, with highlights from uh, interesting people at, um, at, at this, uh, the, the workshop. And I'm editor for the Source Bulletin. Uh, the, in English, in Spanish, and in French, that, that people here, are, not quite a number of people here are subscribing to that. We do that on paper, in uh, electronic uh, email basis, and in, uh, on, on the website. So that is my main role uh, here. Uh, how do you feel that uh, water journalism is is contributing to the to the problem solving that is going on here? Well, the the. Um, the, the journalism side of, of the, the water and, and how, how journalists uh, look at water and, and, and what they do on water is very important and uh, I know that at this conference at least there were 240 regi registered uh, journalists but I have the feeling that they are more from the more trade press and more from the southern press than from the northern press. I know for instance that there are a number of mainstream journalists from Nepal, from India but as far as I'm uh, aware of, there, I, there, there are no journalists from, from, from Sweden or, or the Netherlands here. Uh, and how do you feel that water journalism could, could expand to, to raise awareness of the issue in the mainstream media in, in, in the West? Well, I, I think there, um, the, the problem with journalism in the West, to a certain extent, is that, that uh, too many people uh, think that water is not a problem and certainly sanitation is not a problem in, 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 in the West whereas it, these problems are very uh, local and, and big in the, developing, in the developing countries. I think that is one, uh, one reason. On the other hand, that journalism um, could uh, help of course um, pointing out the relation between water, waste and, and productive use better than uh, is happening now. Um, also in the in, in the north, you know, we in, in Sweden and the Netherlands and in the and, and, and in, in, in the rich world, we flush our toilets with drinking water. Whereas there is nutritious value in, in also human waste that we could feed back into our ecological and uh, in, into our ecological life. So these kind of issues that, uh, that are at play could be um, uh, featured better in, in the media and there are, I know both in Sweden and in the Netherlands situations where there are new outlay uh, housing systems where they separate uh, uh, drinking water with wastewater and feeding that back into the system and in order to get sustainable water and sanitation uh, facilities also in the West we have to close the cycle better than we do and that is where, where media can play a bigger role. So how's the future of, of water media looking? Well, what I'm very, very uh, uh, pleased to see in, in, at least in the developing world, um, there are increasingly uh, networks of journalists um, created around environmental, especially water and sanitation uh, issues. I can give you a, a, an interesting example. In Nepal, the resource center network for water and sanitation there is now running with a few other organizations a journalistic competition which for rural water and sanitation stories, features, for which they give a one month stipend, stipendium, with, for journalists to go into the field for a month then they can produce stories on radio, television and in writing and in, I think in October they will uh, choose the winner the winners in various categories of, 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 of for, this, for this competition I've heard the same thing in Ghana so in, the, in, 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 in a number of developing countries it seems that there is a better 
match between media as well as what especially NGO, the NGO community has to offer for media than it is, than it is in, the, in, in the West. All right, we'll have to wrap it up there. Why don't you tell me your name and again, Angela Vanish? So I'll be here registers as, as press because we report also in our source uh, newsletters. And uh, thanks very much for the opportunity. Thank you.